your furnace, it doesn't heat. Now it may be blowing cold air, running the fan all the time. So you go down and you take a look at this thing. What you're first going to look at is you're going to look for an error code. So let's see if we can find an error code in this thing. Okay, I'm not going to show you the error code that's on this. I'm just indicating that that's the, the window that you need to look under. And it'll blink a code. And the code, the key for the code is probably going to be either in the back side of this panel or on the upper panel. Somewhere around there, it's going to be on it. Sometimes it's on the uh, ignition control or something like that. But usually it's on the panel. So it tells you it has a pressure problem. So now what are you going to do? So here I've taken the cover off the furnace. First thing I'm probably going to do after I found out what that code is, is I'm going to shut this off and then I'm going to turn it back on again. Now that's going to reboot it just like a computer and maybe it'll start that. Good chance it won't, but maybe. So let's assume we've done that and it went back to the pressure switch code. Now this one's got two pressure switches right there because it's two stage. What do I do? Replace these first? Chances are I'm not going to replace those things. They are pressure switches that sense there's something wrong. It's not ready for the burner to light. There's something unsafe. So the last thing I'm going to do is replace these pressure switches. Simplest thing I can do is this is a 90% furnace and this is only this only works on the 90 percenters let's look down and see if we can find a condensate drain because there's condensate come off of these things another issue you might look look at when this inducer goes to start does it make noise does it sound like there's water in it that's all giving you an indication that you got a blockage in your drainage system let's take a look at where that uh, drainage system is Okay, with the cover off, I'm looking at this thing. It doesn't look like it's mounted very good. Looks like there's a kink maybe here. These are things you might want to look at and see if you can figure out if there's any problem there. I'm going to link you to a video on how you should clean that thing, for one thing. That's one little thing you can do. Now, if there's no problem there, let's look a little farther. Other things you might want to look at up here we've got the venting pipe and there's usually not much of a problem here unless a bird got into it or something like that but at the exit if it's uh, ground level you may want to look out there see if there's any blockages if there's a screen in it is the screen plugged with ice something like that it's fairly simple just a flashlight maybe in, uh, to take a look inside those pipes as they come out of the house. I'll give you an idea of what those pipes might look like. Okay, here we have the outside piping. Now this one's a little goofy because the one pipe just goes straight out there. Could have leaves or something like that in it. There's another pipe just on the other side, it's a little hard to see from here, but it's pointing down. Check both of those. Uh, check for plug screens or anything like that that might be in there. Those are the simple things you can do to see if you have a problem with pressure on this system. Not caused by the pressure switch, but actually caused by venting or condensate drains. Those are the simple things you can do. There's more complex things you can do if you're willing to do them. And I'm going to link you to a uh, playlist that has most of the checkouts for all pressure problems and pressure switches. That's it on this one.